So if you've been teaching for any part of virtual schooling, you've probably heard of Canva. Canva offers tons of beautiful templates and graphic design to kind of jazz up whatever you're doing. So I've used it a lot for my thumbnails actually and my captions that I generate for my YouTube videos here. And when I'm in there, I'll notice that there's those like pro crowns that go on. And that means I have to pay for it. And I'm not a big fan of paying for things like that. So I was just kind of making do. But then I was at a training the other day and I heard about Canva for educators. Canva for educators gives you all the premium features for free. You just have to confirm that you are a teacher. There's also a whole bunch of extra features that I didn't even know about. So let's dive into it. So first, let's talk about how do you even get that Canva for Educators membership? So let's look at Canva. And when you're in here, you're gonna go to the question mark for the Help Center, scroll down, Canva subscriptions. And then here's Canva for Education. So you have access to all of these templates, stock images, fonts. You can invite students and share and review their work. I'm actually gonna break that down for you later in the video. You can also do things to Google Classroom. And then here, it tells you who can apply and how to do so. So go ahead and click that Apply Now button. And I'll also leave that linked in the description down below for you. And then I just use part of my offer letter or like your school ID badge to get verified. Okay, so I'm now in Canva and I'm gonna make this week's thumbnail I'll just kind of show you the basics of how to use Canva. So I'm in Canva and I have put this picture in from my camera which you are currently recording on. So to get here I did uploads, upload media, and then I just chose an image from my photo gallery. So that's what that is. It's saying my phone app is the one that put it on here. So this background, how did I get this? So I have this color picker extension. I'm gonna link that in the description down below. And what it allows me to do is I can pick a color, control C to copy it. And then I just put that here and that'll pick that color for me. But I actually wanna flip this picture. So I'm gonna flip it horizontal so I'm looking the other way. Put this over here. I don't want the sun this time. I'm actually gonna make this one of these colors. So again, color picker. And then close this out. Sir, ma'am, what are you doing? Make it that color. There we go, that's better. That will make this a little bit wider. So that does that. I don't know why it's there we go. And then we're going to go to elements and then we can search for graphics of any kind. And usually you can find icons of the um, like apps that you're using. So I found a lot of like Google ones in here. So I'm betting they're going to have their own in here. There it is. This one. I think I'm going to change this color here. I think I'm going to make it this Canva blue. The other thing I want to show you is now when I go to graphics. So like these are free, but ah, here. So like this one, it now says EDU meaning I can use it because I have the educator license. There's no longer the pro thing going on. So let me go to another design really fast. So like this, I made this earlier today. So if something has a white background, you can make the background disappear and then have this as an image. So one of the other cool things about the education membership is that you can do background remover and you can make things transparent. 
So this is just a cute picture of Bruno. So I can go to background remover. It'll work on that. So then it cuts out the image of Bruno. So then I just have this tran, well, I have this cutout of Bruno. That was a premium feature before. I can also, when I download it, make a transparent background. So that'll mean it's not just Bruno in the middle of a white slide. It'll just give me that little thing of Bruno. So I hit download. So if I go back to this thumbnail, then I can go upload media and then I'm going to pick from my device actually, because that's where that download is. And then here he is, his cute little cutout. And there's Bruno just chilling, having a great life. So this is really convenient if you want to have like captions or graphics that move, that pop in and out. It just makes it look cleaner. So you don't have to put in a whole image of Bruno. You could just put in Bruno, you know? All right, some other things I want to show you on this website. So it gives you this For You tab at the top and it's just recommending things that it thinks you might want to use. So like education presentation, for sure I would use that. Instructional video, graphic, poster, Google Classroom headers. I have a whole series on Google Classroom. I will link that in the I actually. Keep in mind that whenever you add a custom header, Google will automatically darken it just a little bit because it does it for contrast, even if you make it the right colors to begin with. So just as a note, you can also make worksheets, lesson plans, all of this stuff. So then it goes into your recent designs and then this one at the bottom I think is the most interesting. So trending education templates. So there's all about me activities here, which are gonna be more of a decor piece and a fun activity. So yeah, absolutely have fun with Canva with those. There's also classroom decor kits. So you can have everything branded in the same way. So let's look at this. So they have all of these options. I highly recommend you pick something, a category from the left, and then you slowly add all of the pieces from each section that you want. So like if I want framed art, okay, I like this B one. So then I have this saved in my recent designs, and then I can go find the other things that connect to this. So then I have that framed art. Let's go presentation and then I can find, oh, here's that hive one I liked. What about classroom bunting? So then here's that B one I like. Meet the student or teacher, Google Classroom headers, virtual backgrounds. If you are looking for a Bitmoji class background, that's actually gonna be in presentations. So just FYI. So here's that presentation, but then you see some other Bitmoji classroom backgrounds in here. And again, these are all customizable. So you could make them any sort of colors you want. You could add in furniture, things like that. So because you have a Canva for Education membership, you automatically have a class made for you. So at the bottom, it'll be your class. And this is where you can add designs that you want your students to use or Maybe you're a part of a PLC and you want other teachers in your group to use these same templates to make things. You could put that all here and have them share it. You'll see options on what you can do here. It'll also show you designs that you have saved. And then if you go to people, you can send them a code or a link. You can import a Google Classroom, which is really cool. You can add separate email addresses. And then once you're in here, you can actually choose the role. So teacher or student, or you could later remove them if someone drops or someone's not in your PLC anymore, whichever works. So to get things in there, let's go back to designs and let's go, actually let's go recommended and we'll find something we want to add. So let's say I want this to be the Bitmoji classroom for my group. Once I have it opened, then I'm gonna click the three dots and I'm gonna click assignment. You can do a description if you want. Okay, next. And then you're gonna put it as can view in that class and then publish. And there's that Bitmoji classroom in there. And then I will get an email 
at my student version saying that a new design has been added. I could also go in here, three dots, Google Classroom, make sure you're in your correct account for that. And then I pick a class and then I can choose an action. And then this is important. You have to put in a due date in order for students to be able to submit it. So even if you don't want, it doesn't really matter, pick a date. So I'm gonna pick tomorrow or Saturday, and then I'm gonna hit assign. And this is in my Google Classroom. It says I successfully did that, wonderful. So then let's look at what happens from a student side. Okay, so I'm signed into Google Classroom as my student account now. So it says I have this assignment in there. I'm gonna go to classwork and click on it. So in here, here's the link. When I click on it, it's gonna have me force a copy. So use template. And I am signed in as a student. So let me add just a graphic to this so you guys can show that it's different. Okay, so then I can send it to my teacher. And then what that'll do is that'll send it to my teacher for review. So if this is like a long-term project where there's gonna be multiple edits for second drafts, that's the button I would click. So I can hit send a teacher. I select a teacher and I can send them a message. So like, what do you think of this version. Let's do a screen capture on my phone really fast. Let's check some of these emails. So this is from Google Classroom. This is saying that Miss Ludi teacher posted an assignment for me. Wonderful. I also have an email from Canva saying Miss Ludi teacher posted that assignment for me. And I could click to start it from the email. Okay, so then Miss Ludi teacher gets an email saying, hey, can you check out this document? And this is the one that the student me edited. So I could review it from here. From here, I'd go to menu and I would go classwork because that's where my things for review are. I can click on that. So this is the student copy that I'm looking at. Review. And then I can see that she added this picture here. So what I can do is I can click on something and I can add a comment. So then once I'm in here, I click this upload and then I have review or assignment Google Classroom. So review, this needs more edits. So then give feedback. So it'll send student me feedback and tell student me I need to keep working. So student me got this email saying this needs more edits from the teacher. So I can open the design here. I can see these comments and then I could make more changes, but I'm gonna send a teacher. This time as the teacher, I'm going to approve it. Okay, so I'm back in Canva on my teacher account. I go to classwork again, because student me resubmitted, review. So then when I'm done up here, I hit that review again, and this time I can return design approved. And then because teacher me approved the design, student me would get an email saying the design was approved. So I also showed you how you could post the assignment to Google Classroom. So I could also turn in the assignment on Google Classroom. So as the student, I'm in here. So I can click the three dots and go Google Classroom. I choose my class as a student, I choose the assignment. So then if I click this, it'll attach my version of that Bitmoji Classroom to the Google Classroom assignment. click view assignment then, it has already attached it for me. And then I can just hit that turn in button. So then if I wanted as a teacher, I could grade it in Google Classroom and not necessarily just approve it in Canva. So for your normal everyday classroom, I don't know if you would wanna add students just because the worksheets in there are 
definitely more art and graphic design based and most students aren't going to need that on a regular basis. But for an art or a graphic design class, this is going to be amazing for you because you can assign things and have them use all these sorts of Canva templates and it's going to be great. You could review and approve designs. You could have it linked to your Google Classroom if you need to give it grades. I also saw some templates for a yearbook in here in case you wanted to do that. Overall, I think this really changes the game. One, just because Canva for Educators is free, so you can have all this beautiful graphic design for free in your classroom. But also for those art and graphic design teachers, this will definitely change your class. For those PLCs who wanna have nice branded things across several classrooms, you could share designs easily through here and make it ready to go. Also, this is a video in the Best School Year Ever series playlist. I will link that playlist up here too to catch up on the other things. The purpose of this playlist is to help me have my best school year ever and help you do it too. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. It helps others find this content. Also consider subscribing if you haven't already to stay up to date with the latest videos that I post. I post every Sunday at 9 a.m. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.